All right, so hello everyone. This is Gilman, and that is Zach. Yeah, you can follow me on Twitter at Zach Gaz, Z A C K G A Z. And this week we are playing Back for Blood, which is a newly released co op online shooter made by the same team who made Left for Dead and Evolve. And you, it's not hard to see the references. Evolved did not go well. Evolved did not go well. I was not a fan of Evolved. Of Evolved, I, I just it didn't feel right. It didn't look right. You played as the monster, and like I didn't really understand where to even go. Yeah, yeah I didn't. I, I think it was an interesting concept. Not too bad. So can you to... execution? Oh bad. fuck! Great. So this is kind of the spiritual successor, where it's mixing a bit of Evolve with Left for Dead. So you get to pick a character. They all kind of have a unique perk when you start off, but they're all they all you know play the same. They all jump the same height. They all run the same speed, and they just might start off with a different loadout essentially. And then this game's deal is you get to choose the cards. So before you play, it's like, do you want to be able to run more? Do you want to heal a little bit better? And then in time, you get more cards, and then you can apply it when you play. And then what it's trying to do here is it's, you know, you got to wait for this six minute countdown where they just trap you in this room and they try to partner you up with other live players. In the meantime, you can walk around, you can open up that red case on the floor there to your right I or can. whatever. Oh, you got to wait. Okay. It's a lot. Okay. So when you, when the gameplay starts, I think you can do it, but either way, you're just in a safe room. It's, it's, it's like left for dead where you got to kind of move from safe room to safe room and do a thing in between and that's kind of the level and a bunch of guns you get melee weapons i think if you hit the y button you can switch to your i don't know what the hell that is i've never seen that before oh, that person finally loaded in yeah they might load in but then you got to like wait for the countdown because even if they're loaded in they still have to activate their cards and it could just take a little bit of time, but it's always better to play with humans, assuming you you just don't get an asshole who just like quits halfway through like any game and leaves oh, you I, hanging. We we only have a team of three. Yeah, the 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 AI will fill whichever position is open. But I think it's typical first person controls you got your reload you got your you can switch between your your two weapons and you got your you know you had like the left bumper to throw your grenade or whatever item you have there you could heal if you hold out your med pack all right good i think we got a full team maybe the game will start then yeah it's kind of like destiny where you can only you can't have like all big powerful weapons you always got to have kind of a like a big weapon like a shotgun a machine gun and then maybe a melee weapon and a pistol you can't have like two big shotguns for example it's like it doesn't let you hold two large weapons but yeah i think you can unlock there you go there you go. All right. Game on. Game begin. But yeah, I don't know what difficulty. I think we're just playing on regular. Uh, uh, whatever the lower yeah, setting re is. Re yeah, or recruit or yeah, whatever they call it. But yeah, so a zombies fall easy. I mean, one to two hits, even with the pistol. And then you could walk around. Yeah, you can hold down the button and you un unlock it. Sometimes if you explore, you'll find some coins that you can gather and collect to eventually buy more stuff in the upgrade screen in between matches but yeah here's your big guy who will you know shoot the gas bombs on you there's another one who clings to the wall kind of like spider-man and then he spits acid on you that has like the lingering annoying lingering effect like a poison Yeah, 
Yeah, I see somebody's finding gold there. Uh, copper. Or co yeah, they, yeah, they call it right. That's their. That's the uh, currency, in other words, not necessarily gold. Oh, this has more of a, um, like, loot, looter shooter feel than Left 4 Dead did. Yeah, so what we were talking about just before the stream here, so Left 4 Dead, you know, I played Left 4 Dead 1, played Left 4 Dead 2, good games. And what I, I guess my critique about the, the original two Left 4 Deads would be is that there wasn't any like weight to the zombies like you'd shoot them and they like they would just fall you know like you know like nothing there was so many of them and it, you and there wasn't like you you kind of just would shoot them like you nece didn't necessarily like hit them in the head or the arm it just kind of felt like empty and not not solid not totally reactive i mean it was still fun there's nothing you know it was still a good game to play online co-op this game is kind of the same where you kind of just shoot a guy and it doesn't necessarily feel like super satisfying like you can just spray and then kill a bunch of dudes yeah see there's the spider-man guy who spits on you from sticking on the wall but i'm just coming off of zombie army 4 which is also currently on game pass and i played that through with my buddies online and that really feels way more solid like each kill like each headshot you feel like yeah i just shot him in the head you know this you know there's like weight to the enemies Whereas this is just more like, you know, spray and pray, where the other game is more Halo-ish, where you know, every single bullet counts and means something. It, it's it's a different way of, it's a different uh, design. It is. Uh, it, 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 it's very philosophy. much, yeah. That's what they were, yeah, that's what they were going for. Here. Much more faster pace, looser play, pick up and play. And you'll see that this stage each at least the, the you know the four stages that i played or whatever in act one i've played a few stages just on, on xbox are really short too they're you know 10 minutes long you know they're very short you know whereas zombie army you could play for 30 to 60 minutes in one stage you know like much much longer so i'm fine with the short levels it's just you know my initial impression is like it's fine it's not like great um, but my problem with Left 4 Dead is like, I I would always always fucking um, get get on a team of people that were just complete assholes. Yeah. I I didn't have that like playing through with your buddy experience that seemingly everyone else did. Yes, if you could play with dedicated players who take it seriously, who aren't gonna quit, who's not gonna, you know. Hey, I you know I gotta go to the bathroom. I'll be back in eight minutes. You know, and leave yeah. you hanging. Like, no, let's play this, then go to the bathroom, plan it out. You know, it's cool. Yeah, if you get the dedicated players, then that's where you have more fun. I mean, with any game, you, you play online. You know, you're always gonna you don't want to get an asshole, a rando. Yeah. Yeah, my friends suck though, so it's it's relatively difficult to get any online experience going the only one that we ever really got was uh the division mm. yeah you and the division's a great that's a game you really want to play with some friends because that's a big expansive world and oh i'm fucked yeah no you'll be all right because you're, you're like your your health is going down you're gonna die now but you can still get the somebody will come save you yeah, the fire effects, by the way, they, it almost looks like, a, it's hard to tell because you're on the ground, like, with the fire, but it almost looks like a, like a lava wave or something, like it's, like a liquid. It's kind of weird, it doesn't really look like fire. I mean, it looks like burning, but not necessarily like fire, it's this weird effect. Like, it, I think it looks cool, it just doesn't look right. You know, not like real fire. I don't know. It's just something I noticed. But other on the on the side of this uh, train truck or whatever this is, this, this uh, train yard is the uh, the safe house. 
and then the level will be over, I, th I think, so if I'm remembering correctly. So it's a nice kind of introductory stage, I think. You get the high vantage points. They want to kind of ease you into it. This is the most intense portion of the level where they're just kind of surrounding you on all sides. But you just kind of stay on top. You keep moving. You yeah, except for out. the first thing that happened is, uh, like, the big tank thing hit me off, and I was in a zombie yes. horde. So if you jump across where that other player, there you go. And like that's the safe house right there. And then that's the end of the level. So I think you can go in the safe house right now, but you have to wait for everybody to get inside. Then you physically have to close the door. Like you have to click on the door to actually close it. Yeah, there you go. And I think like the next stage is you got to go help. There's like, now you're in this building or this apartment building or whatever. And there's like two people stranded on the top floor. You got to fight your way through it and then make your way back to the same safe house. But yeah, you can, the co-op aspect is you can heal other players. You can throw them ammo. <laughs> Locked him out. Oh, there you go. Okay. That didn't look right. He was on the other side of the it door. It was a was bot. He on the other side? Oh, that was the bot. Okay. All right. So what are your final that, thoughts? But I mean, yeah, that's it. So I mean, it was just a quick kind of bite-sized level. I mean, what was that? 10 minutes, you know, right? So yeah. like, I think all the, the levels that I've played, at least here on Act 1, have been this kind of small size. But I think it's cool, like, you know, for a free game or, you know, a Game Pass game, I guess I shouldn't say free, but for a Game Pass game, it could be a good way to spend, you know, 30 minutes to an hour. If you get some buddies, you play online for some mindless co-op fun. Absolutely. So, yeah, you can follow us on, on Twitter. You can follow me on Twitter at Zach Gaz, Z-A-C-K-G-A-Z. Please go to mygamer.com. That's where we post all of our news, reviews, streams, previews, all sorts of gaming goodness there. We cover the games that nobody else is playing, and we appreciate you watching. And until next time, thank you for watching and game on.